Sebastian, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Jordan? Good. Nice to see you, man. Um, so I know you've been trying to add a little bit to your pass rush repertoire coming into this spring and summer. Are you able to take us into what those workouts have been like and uh, some of that technique work has been like for you um, now that you're back sort of getting back into the system, getting into um, things with, with Eric Henderson? Yeah. Um, with me, it was just more so um, fine tuning some of the details of pass rush and also, um, and also working on things that are more, probably more susceptible to me rather than, you know, um, <laughs> trying to do things that aren't, cause you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just a little bit di by different body build than per se, like a Greg Gaines or like a Aaron Donald or, you know, I feel like pass rush is um, unique in the sense of um, kind of you kind of got to find what's what works for you and what, what's good for you and your body type. So just like anything else, just like clothes, you know, it's the same exact thing. And um, once you're able to find that, find those three, maybe three or four moves and um, then you can fine tune it and then um, work on the details, the little details of things like steps, timing, hand placement, um, footwork, stuff like that. So, yeah. Lindsay? Hey, Sebastian. Um, every year, but what's it like so far kind of without uh, the Michael Brockers piece out there with your guys' defensive line group? I'm sorry, Lindsay. You went out for the first half of the question. Can you just repeat that one more yeah. time? Uh, I was just saying, I know teams change every year, but what's yeah. it like kind of getting used to having a group without Michael Brockers, who was there for so long? Yeah, it's definitely quieter, that's for sure. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely weird for sure. Um, I don't like the first day of OTAs. I was talking to Aaron, Aaron about it. And uh, I think Obo said we were stretching and and uh someone said, like, dang, man, I'm his Brock, it's quiet as hell. But um, yeah, you know, it's 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 different for sure. And uh definitely an adjustment, but you know, um in this business is kind of what's expected, right? But for me, I guess it kind of hit home more because you know, Brocker's it has turned to be a really good friend, a really good colleague, a really good friend of mine, and kind of like a big brother to me, helped me a lot through this whole process transitioning to the NFL. So, yeah, you know, but um, I wish him nothing but luck in Detroit. I know he's going to kill it up there. So, huge shout out to Mike. And then with you guys, just kind of um, something that uh, another coach was saying that you guys all kind of know how to compensate or, or compliment, I really should say, how Aaron Donald plays when he's going to go freelance and be his spectacular self. Um, so how do you guys kind of teach the younger guys and catch them up to speed on, on how to be able to do that with Aaron? Um, I just think, honestly, I just think, honestly, it's just reps. It's going to be reps and obviously a lot of film watching, you know, um, that's what's going to be, I guess, at least it was with me. When it came to me, it was it was the more reps I got with Aaron, the more comfortable I got, and just kind of knowing what he does. And um, and then obviously watching film, you know, because sometimes, you know, Aaron is very um, locked in during the game. So sometimes you got to watch film of him, kind of see what he likes to do and then be able to play with him, play play um, around him or play, you know, with, you know, just play with him in that sense. Just know how he plays and that's how you're able to compliment him and vice versa. Wow, so that's why I think those guys are going to have to do. I think they're just, honestly just going to have to really, um, you know, get as many reps as possible and obviously watch a lot of film. Stu? Hey, Sebastian. Good to hear from you, man. Um, just wanted to ask you about um, kind of your role this upcoming season. Obviously, it's early right now, but as people have mentioned, with, with Brockers being gone, you know, there's, there's more snaps, more opportunities that are going to open up. Obviously, from what I understand and what I saw, it looked like he played more outside and you more inside. But when you kind of look at that, just like how has that kind of impacted your preparation, knowing that you could potentially be, be on the field more, again, even though you didn't necessarily play the same position as him? Um, yeah, you know, um, uh, that's a great question, Sue. I just, you know, honestly, I treat every, every, uh, every off season as if I have a big role. Right. Um, so, um, obviously, you know, when that happened with Brock, it was very unfortunate, obviously, you know, it's nature of the business, but, um, you know, I'm just, listen, man, I'm still going to be doing my three workouts a day. I'm still going to be working out four hours a week. You know, that's just who I am. It's always who I, it's always who I will be, you know, like, so, um, when that happened, obviously, you know, next man up kind of mentality right that's how it is in this business so you know it wasn't anything that isn't like there's not if anything there's nothing like nerve-wracking about it 
you know, um, at the end of the day, it's just football, right? You, whatever you put in, you get out. So um, I just kind of look at it in that sense, you know, I'm just going to go work hard, do what I have to do this off season, continue to be doing what I've been doing since February. And, um, you know, whatever God has, whatever, whatever plan God has for me, man, is what God has for me. But you, I just know, I know that you down in my heart that, um, you know, when you work hard, you get lucky. So we'll see. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, Kevin, then we can wrap it up with Greg and Gary. Hi, Sebastian. Uh, what are you seeing from Ashawn Robinson this offseason? Oh, Ashawn, he's doing a great job, man. Ashawn's, you know, transformed his body, you know, lost, lost weight, um, you know, toned up, you know, just he's locked in, man. He's really locked in. And um, uh, I think, honestly, a lot of people, I think a lot of guys are locked in, especially with the departure of Brock, you know. Um, a lot of guys are locked in. A lot of guys are ready to step up. And um, that's, a, you know, that's a huge, that's a positive sign. So huge shout out to Ashawn, man. He's obviously been taking his offseason real seriously. Um, he looks thinner. He looks more explosive. He looks like he's just ready to play some ball, man. And uh, and I'm excited for him because he's actually going to ha actually have the opportunity to play a full, play, a, you know, actually have that, those reps that he was able to get, unfortunately, for the last year. Um, so it's going to be great, him be able to work with Coach Henny for the whole, for the whole duration of OTAs and camp. So, you know, he's really going to, I think, you know, he's really going to flourish and he's going to do what he has to do. Yeah, I wondered if there was a sense that you never saw Ashawn at his physical best last year. Um, you know, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that at all. I would just say kind of the circumstances, right? You know, a uh, guy that obviously was out because of COVID uh, and, um, you know, some personal things. So, um, and then you kind of just throw him in, you know, like, Listen, like it's hard. It doesn't matter who you are. You'd be Aaron Donald. I don't think. I don't think that's how it works. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're going against the best of the best every week. So, you know, it was kind of a tough situation. I feel like he kind of had a battle through, and he made the most of it. He honestly did. He did great for what you know for what he the adversity that he faced and what he had to battle through. So, um, you know, he shout out to Ashawn. I think you know he's really gonna um do a great job this season and 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 uh, put a great product out on that field, man. For us, so I'm excited. And then just quickly, it, it, um, I was going to say, uh, what are you seeing from Aaron Donald? But <laughs> I assume that there's not much change in him from off season to off season or. Yeah, yeah I mean, Aaron's Aaron, you know, he's always going to work. He's always going to put in his work. You know, that's the thing. I feel like, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, guys are just, guys are just cut different. You know, at the end of the day, like we're going to work. And I feel like that's just kind of like just the, mentality of our defensive line right like we're always going to work and we're always going to be putting in putting in our due diligence and putting in our hours because at the end of the day you know um nothing happens by accident so um that's kind of just the mentality i've had kind of mentality i've been raised with and i feel like aaron kind of shares that same mentality that that sense of you know if you want something you have to work hard for it. that's not how you're not going to get anything off of you know luck or per se so I, I think you know I'm pretty sure Aaron's probably working out right now if I could if I could guess <laughs> <laughs> thanks Sebastian no problem. hey Sebastian uh big picture you're on the number one defense in the NFL last year you've lost four starters you lost the, a couple of depth guys you lost the coordinator you lost two position coaches number one does it feel like a lot of change and number two what what's that experience been like so far um great question so yeah I mean honestly I'm not going to lie to you. When you say all that, I didn't even really, really, I mean, obviously you realize, you know, the D coordinator, you realize JJ, you realize Brock. Um, but yeah, you know, um, it's the nature of this league, you know, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, those guys are obviously all going to be hard to replace, especially uh, B. Staley, you know, that's my guy. Um, but I think, you know, Coach Ra is doing a great job and uh, picking up, picking up where exactly where Coach Staley is leaving off. And I think that um, we have the right kind of guys, the right kind of guys in this building to be able to pick up the slack or, or, you know, pick up exactly where those guys left off. You know, I think that's kind of the beautiful thing about this game, the beautiful thing about this game, especially here in this organization. I feel like we always have guys that, you know, when they do have those red shirt years or they have those years that they don't, they aren't on the field, they really take their, they really take that year seriously and they really take the time to, to study and to learn and to pick the brains of the John Johnsons, the Michael Brockers, you know, like my, like, you know, going back to who I, who I was when I first started, like, you know, I didn't play at all that Super Bowl year, but you know, I was behind, I was, I was always picking the brain of Sue, picking the brain of AD, picking the brain of Brock. And when my time came, you know, 
you know, God blessed me in the fact that I flirted, I did well and I kept on progressing. So I think, you know, it's going to be the, another story of what's going on here. I think the Rams do a great job of picking guys that take their craft real seriously and um, uh, really, you know, pick the brains of those guys. So now when they leave, they can just pick that pick up that slack. So, yeah. And so with Coach Morris in charge, he's an East Coast guy, New Jersey guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to feel comfortable with that. What's he been like? What's, what's he been like? He's talking a little oh, no, He got great energy, man. I love his energy, man. He's from, he's from the Dirty Jersey. So I already know he's coming. You know, I went to Rutgers. You know, I was born in Jersey. I went to Rutgers. So, you know, so it's like, it's it's like home. It's funny, man. His joke, him and I get along really well. And uh, I love it. But he's also very intense and very intentional with what about what he's trying to do. So, you know, he knows how to turn it on and off, but he also knows how to have fun with it. So um, I'm super excited, man. I'm super excited for this defense. I'm super excited for the season. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to get after it. I'm itching. Hey, Sebastian. Um how do, how do you guys deal as a defense um, with the expectations that are going to come now, you know, with having been uh, the top defense last year, but now as you were talking about all these changes, how, how do you guys kind of go about, you know, not falling off while handling? Well, well to be completely honest with you, G, um, every year is different, right? Every year is different in, in the, in the sense of, of you know you can't kind of compare what, what happened last year happened last year right so now we're starting off at ground zero so now it's all about building that foundation that, that we built last off last uh off season and last season to be able and to hope to go and replicate that again right so you know we don't we don't I guess at least my mentality is whatever I did last year that's cool even if, even if it was super positive like that's out the window I don't count anymore like it's in the past and now it's a new year. You got to do it again. You know what I mean? You got to do it again. You got to do it even better. So I just think that's kind of the mentality that we all have. Um, that's the mentality that we all kind of have here. And um, we all know, you know, nothing's going to be handed to us just because we were that last year. It doesn't mean that we'll be that again unless we put lay those, you know, lay those pillars and lay that foundation down that we need to to get ourselves back back to where we once were. So, yeah. And then, you know, what? I'm just curious, what was going through your mind, you know, uh, a, a few months ago when when Aaron was going through that situation of being falsely accused in uh, yeah. Pittsburgh? What, how how did you, how did you process what was happening there, and you know, what was kind of your reaction? Oh, I know Aaron didn't do that, man. It's not Aaron. It's not who he is. It's not his character. So I wasn't honestly worried about that at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew I knew it was gonna come out. The truth is gonna come out, and that's not who Aaron is. It's not his character. That's not the way he conducts himself. So, yeah. Thank you. All right, that's all for today, Sebastian. Thank you. All right, peace. Love y'all. God bless. <laughs>